Hi, welcome to 247 Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can get started with Stadia. First, I'm going to show you the unboxing quickly. After that, I'm going to show you how to set up the Chromecast Ultra by connecting it to your TV and setting it up. And then I'm going to show you how you can add the Stadia controller so you can get start playing game. And I'm going to show you some sample game. Let's get started with this. What is Stadia? This is a good game controller that you can see now. And we don't have any box like um, Nintendo game console or Xbox or PlayStation. So you don't need to buy any of those. Everything is on the cloud. You don't have to purchase any CD or DVD or other type of media that you need it with all their system everything is on the cloud you purchase everything online you play it over the chromecast and your controller will get connected via wi-fi to your tv and you will always be updated and everything is on the cloud simple as that i press order via google store on june 6th 2019 and here is the confirmation email and here it shows the total was 190 dollar 97 cents canadian with Studio Founders Edition Blue, Night Blue. And I received email on November the 19th that a product has been dispatched. And next day I received it. After they shipped the product on November 19th, they sent me the activation code where you will enter it in the app to continue. And here is the, this is the Founders Edition. I purchased this like five, six months ago. And today, November the 20th, I received it, 2019. And here is the power of Google. Wow. Very nice ergonomic it fits your hand absolutely amazing wow i've been waiting for this okay so we have a usb port here this is a usb c connector to charge it so a usb c connector to charge Power adapter, North American, this is for Canada and US. So, what else is here? Let's see. So, the promise for creating one place for all new way to play is long held dream. Today we are proud to see that dream is becoming a reality. Thank you for being the first to gather around. Okay, study a controller, getting started. And here's a sticker. And then safety and regulations. So these are some papers. And this is the Chromecast Ultra that we need. And this is the power adapter for this and also Ethernet connection. So when you plug it into the wall, you plug it to this device to power up and also it communicates via Ethernet if you connect it via Ethernet. You can also use Wi-Fi. So here is how, how it looks like from close up view. So this is L1, L2, R1, R2. This is the USB-C port. We'll connect it here. When you charge it, 
we have a port for headphone before doing anything please make sure to subscribe it's really appreciated now to get stadia we need to go to google play store just type stadia and install the app this is the logo this installation is done and open it now it's time to add a controller to our device now on the device we, i want to link this to my account let's turn this on first hold it until vibrates and this goes on so the app is open and running i'm touching this icon here controller icon now turn on the location studio needs access to the location which i don't like it okay allow turn on bluetooth okay let's turn on the bluetooth this is the bluetooth i turn looking for studio and here it found it set up wi-fi still you see this is blinking this is the one leveling up level unlocked i have no idea what it means but now it's vibrating so what it, what is this yes is it vibrating yes microphone privacy so this has a microphone will listen to you continue you have no choice share diagnostic no i don't want to share need wi-fi then i have a wi-fi that is that for that purpose let me log in connect connecting to wi-fi so it does transfer the password to the stadia connected now now it's orange and white you see next updating the controller a blinking orange and white status light means that update is in progress this orange and white means update in progress okay now your controller will restart a new update after the status light ch change to white it will be ready for use so now still it's orange now it vibrates now white blinking is white only yes it's time to play and here now i'm going to here now i'm going to set up the chromecast this is the power adapter for that i will connect it here and plug this into the wall or at the back of my device also i have a usb here i have a usb where i can connect the usb and then power this up instead of the wall so i can power it like this so now let me plug this in i see some kind of light here and then let's plug it in and then let's see this is no signal let's wait Now it is booting up. And here it says get the app. Now let's go to Google Play Store and then search for Google Home and you will see this google home 
because I've already installed it, it's, it's showing up. So this is the icon, you install it, it doesn't need any registration or anything as long as you have your account login with uh, Google uh, App Store. So let's open it. Add this and set up device. You will see this screen. Okay, so set up new device. They will ask for your home location and also they will ask for, to enable the GPS. I did. Now it says looking for the device. Here it shows Chromecast Ultra. I've selected. Just click next and let's see. Okay, so now we are waiting until this says that U2 K3, are you seeing it? Connect it. So they will ask you that, do you read this on the screen? Which we are, so yes. And then it says automatically share device that crashed the report, no. What is this device and what, let's call it bedroom. Living room, dining room, family room, and then next, and it says all available Wi Fi. So I'm gonna connect with one of the Wi Fi and then click OK. So this is now setting up this device. Updating and as you can see it shows some timing that this updates eighty percent. 100% so let's click next so now it says subscribe to something I'm not gonna do it all done continue Update to the, to the USB will be installed and it will take up to 4 minutes. Now device is rebooting. Now it says it has been connected. Almost done. Now it says finish it here. And now the Chromecast has been connected and done. This is my studio. I've connected the Chromecast Ultra. Let's go to Google Play and download Stadia. So Stadia is here. Select it and install wait for this to finish okay open and let's go get started now it says choose an account I have to choose an account Okay, I've already logged in. Now it says 
choose where to play. From this menu, we will see the family TV, whatever Chromecast name you set, you will see it. Now it says follow this to start using it. X, left, A, right. Now connect it. It made two vibrations and the, connect the controller is now connected. Now the game is on the screen, waiting for this to boot. I've muted the sound. Now it is solid, on, story. As you can see, I can go to practice. And here, The game has been set up and working properly. You can press on once, you will see my name Persian and all other option. If you want to hold this again, you will exit. Now resume game, exit game or shutdown. You can shut down the Stadia by pressing now A. Vibrated, st Stadia is off. Now the screen is like that. Now my phone is on, if you want to again, join this if you turn it on it will not work just by on my phone is on everything i have to press this combination of keys x left a right now admit vibration and we got connected to play again so this was how to set up thank you for watching this was how to set up and get started with stadia revolutionary new game if you like this video and learned something, please thumb up as this will help my video in the search algorithm of YouTube. If you have comment or question, post it in the comment section below. I try to answer and reply. And make sure not to forget 